I'm joined here by I am D V Prasad. Uh, Prasad, you are well known in the chess community for many reasons. One of them being uh, you've beaten Mikhail Tal. Uh, but today I want to talk to you about something different. It is about your work for Indian Oil. Uh, how many years have you been serving in Indian Oil? Uh, this is my 26th year in Indian Oil. So it has been a long journey for me in Indian Oil. It was very good and uh, also we could uh, get a lot of players into Indian Oil from not only chess and other sports also. Indian Oil has been giving very good facilities for a sports person on the whole. So it's certainly uh, very encouraging to be part of the company. You must have started in roughly around 1995 uh, or 96. No, I joined in 1996. 96. And at that point, chess wasn't as booming in India as it is now. So, how did this come about? Was there already a chess culture in uh, Indian Oil in PSPB or? Uh... No, no. When I joined, uh, there was not. Uh, uh, I mean, the chess was not uh, very popular in PSPB. It was, though it was one of the sports in PSPB, hardly few recruited players were there. In fact, if uh, my memory is right, only Bharat Petroleum had recruited chess players. Actually, uh, Subsequently, Indian Oil and ONGC we recruited a lot of players, more than BTC Railway Club. And so these three teams have, you can say, professional players, all title holders who have played at the highest level. So generally the competition is with, between these three companies in uh, PSPD. And it, it can't be predicted which team will win because more or less uh, the players are of even playing strength. So it has been going on for years and uh, again here also it is still unpredictable after the completion of three rounds. True, true. That has always been the case. These three teams have been fighting very hard. Uh, but for, for you, uh, how has Indian Oil supported you in your chess journey? Uh, well, when I joined uh, in the year 1996, I, mean, I had already played for the country for a very long time prior to that. Because I joined a little late because I was working in Union Bank and then I came into Indian Oil. After joining again, I could play two Olympiads. I played uh, the, the month I joined Indian Oil in '96. I accompanied our team for the. I, I mean, I played the uh, Armenia Olympiad at uh, Erevan, and again in 2000, uh, I led the Indian team in Istanbul for the Olympiad. That was my last Olympiad. Then I was in the team till 2002, so a lot of support was there. In fact, uh, I still remember I played one uh, long stint of tournaments in Europe in. Uh, 97, which was actually supported by Indian Oil. And there some very strong tournaments I played in France and Poland. Uh, so that was my thing. And after a period of time, then I came, um, I've been into mainstream, and then uh, I started the back end of uh, sports, like I was, in the, I was an administrative role, so I was handling sports. And uh, I should say a lot of chess players who you were seeing in Indian Oil, most of them were during my time, all of them. You have recruited all of them. Yes, but you, last, but it's not limited to just chess, yeah? You have done for other sports other as sports well. Also. So we have done in badminton, we have done in tennis, table tennis, uh, hockey, uh, lot many games. Even snooker we have taken players, so it was village of snooker. So it was a very uh, interesting uh, time in sports in Indian Oil. It was uh, really very good. And one good thing was I really felt happy was when we could recruit a women's chess team full in a full fledged way. Because that time uh, most of the women players were not in uh, any company. So right now we have a strong women team. Most of the women names Arita, all of the world are playing here somewhere. Everybody is here. So, uh, I mean, one or, one or two dropouts were there because of uh, some genuine reasons here. But uh, otherwise, they were a uh, fairly strong women team uh, compared to any other uh, right. company. This is tremendous uh, how Indian Oil has supported chess, how you have contributed and it is this year is going to be your last year in the company. Yes, yes. Uh, this is this will be my last PSPB for uh, Indian Oil because I will be superintending uh, soon this year in the month of June. So I will be carrying a lot of fond memories. So that's how, that, that way this tournament is really special for me and it is happening in Mumbai where I am right now residing. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
How do you see currently the situation in PSPB and Indian Oil? Because although they are supporting almost all of the top players of the country, I think the last recruitment for chess had happened some time ago, like um, 2017, Murli Karthik. Right. I, I, you only did it, yeah, and many new players are, uh, you know, like there are some certain players who are strong now, but unfortunately they are not being recruited. How do you see uh, the future now? You know, actually what happens is uh, every company has a policy in place. We also have a corporate policy in place where we have a cap for each game. Like how many players can be recruited? I mean, some, uh, let us say we are having five active players who are at the top and our uh, allowed number as per our policy is only five, then we can't take any new player. Agreed. Because we can't uh, uh, supersede that and go uh, against it. But the thing is, there are a lot of other opportunities. In fact, uh, HPCL wanted to recruit some players some time back, and uh, some other oil companies also. I mean, if, if they come forward, it will be even more interesting. It's rather than confining to these three companies, if more uh, oil companies take, then it will be far more interesting because now there are a lot of players who come from Denmark and title, and they're all very young also. Yes, on one hand, India is booming 73 GMs. On the other hand, it, the worry amongst everyone is what if we don't get employment because this has been one of the major backbones of Indian chess. Fine, I'm, the petroleum industry definitely had uh, recruited a lot of players. But now I think uh, even in uh, as what I could uh, hear from my colleagues who are in uh, ONGC and BPCL, they also have got their full quota of players. Uh, I don't know whether they'll be... Uh, adding some more numbers, in which case uh, it can happen. Even in Indian oil, if we can uh, add some more numbers, it can definitely happen. But at this stage, yes, we have our uh, bags full now, <laughs> right now. So, so as a as a chess player and also as a person who has worked as an administrator in these companies, as someone who has been at the at the top level, how do you see? Uh, is there a way in which new players can feel more comfortable? Uh, or, or do you think that this we have to find new avenues now? Uh, I think we will have to find the new avenues because I do not know because uh, with uh, BPCL uh, maybe going for uh, privatization, I do not know how uh, chess is going to be uh, uh, progressing afterwards. Maybe it will still continue. A lot of good players are still there. Uh, and not only in chess, they have got in other games also. But unless and until, because we have lot many games, right. other than right. chess, we have right. so many games where the recruitment has to take place and we can't cross a certain limit. So that is the only issue which is there. Unless and until, otherwise we try to uh, enhance the numbers. Enhance the numbers, that is one way. Of How does that otherwise, happen? Otherwise, it has to be a policy change, policy right? Change. It's a policy change. It's a big it's process. Big, big process. It's a policy change. And when uh, any change is uh, motor, it has to be uh, on a, in a holistic way, not only for one sport, for all other sports, mm. wherever there is any gaps, we have to fill those gaps, something like that. So that will take some time. Uh, the other thing is in case if there are a lot of good uh, private corporate sponsorships also should come forward because now this is gaining a lot of popularity. Uh, as you see, uh, I, I, uh, when I was going through the uh, ACF website and the latest news when I'm seeing, now they've got a good sponsorship from the back by the ACF. So when the national championships, the price fund has increased uh, tremendously. 30 from lakhs, the time What right. I was playing and what it is now, it is quite good. And apart from that, a lot of international open events are also being uh, scheduled this year. This gives quite a number, a lot of opportunities. And we are also uh, going to have the player league in the chess player league, IPL in just in the month of June, if I'm right. I mean, this or this uh, measures will certainly, is certainly good for the players, and also some of the corporates can grab this opportunity to pick up some players because uh, that way they can uh, enhance their brand image also. True. Because most of these players are at, uh, playing at the top level. See, now recently Pragyananda defeated Carlson, it's a big news. Uh, likewise, Arjun uh, won the tournament in uh, Hugove. Uh, by can see. By can see. Won the, uh, right. The Tata Steel. He, he won the challengers. The challengers. He won with a huge score of ten and a half bar thirty. These are all uh, spectacular uh, results actually. So some corporate can certainly uh, 
try to fund this place and then things will definitely change in India. Very well said. And finally, you yourself are a very strong player. You have two GM norms, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Uh, and recently, I remember when you played at Kolkata Open and in some other events, you, you performed well. You were able to beat some strong players. Do you see yourself coming back to the chessboard, uh, playing or training? How is your future going to be? Uh, see, I think I will, I am planning to do both. I will be training some youngsters also after my super animation. And plus, I will also be playing because it's uh, more... Uh, I am getting tempted to play when I see the number of tournaments which are there and uh, also uh, I did uh, fairly well in the World Seniors last when I took yes. So I thought okay I can again. That's also another way to become a GM. Yeah but now it's very, yeah, it's very tough, tough because they, the prize money has gone up and it is uh, quite strong. Nevertheless it's very very interesting. So <laughs> I will certainly be, I will not be quitting, I will continue to play. Uh, but not the as what I used to do earlier. To be limited to a few tournaments and then I will be training players who are budding youngsters who can go much higher in the chess field. Amazing. Thank you so much for your time and thank you for serving chess and PSPB and ONGC, uh, sorry, IOCL for so many years. Thank you. Thank you so much.